it to Thursday. Uh, it is the end of our week as far as uh, Daily Creative Challenge goes. But uh, we still have a good 30 minutes ahead of us to have a really good time and close this out. If you guys are tuning in for the first time this week or the first time ever, hi, my name is Ryan Selvi, and I am a illustrating motion designer here on Adobe Live. Today, we're going to be working on our kids activity mat, a little mat that you can make for your kids or for other kids if you are maybe, you know, working for a restaurant or you want to start something up on Etsy or you want to. Um, I don't know, just be able to create fun activity sheets for uh, adults. I don't know. It could be anything. <laughs> uh, the past three days, we have worked on both uh, creating word searches and connect the dots, some mazes. We hopped into Adobe Express yesterday, and we looked at how we could market some of the things that we were creating. Um, and then today, we're actually going to hop back over into Illustrator. And I was thinking we, we could do a compare the illustrations um, uh side-by-side -side, uh, like activity kit and uh, then we could probably recolor them and mess around with the new generative color for um, the two pieces to make it even more complicated um, so with that I guess we can hop right on in this is the same document that we actually started with yesterday so if you're working with the starter files uh, you can still see that it probably says day three but that's because yesterday we were pretty much uh entirely in uh, adobe express now today we're gonna be hopping back in here also a great big hello to everybody both on youtube and on behance so many people um if you're watching this as a replay also we'll still make it worth your time though so stay tuned and uh work with us as we kind of work on this illustration so the first thing that i kind of realized is um we said we were going to do outer space plants and then i kind of just ended up doing just outer space which is very typical for me because outer space is like my fave but uh i was thinking with today's illustration we could actually hop in and maybe do something with like a little alien um maybe planting a um little garden or something and then we could have the comparisons of the two so i'm going to kind of try to relocate this a little bit more we're not entirely tied down to a dimension set so you know hypothetically you know we could hop in here and we could um extend it more to have more space but i have a feeling that if you're creating this you're going to want to be able to print it and you're going to want to be able to um work on it from your own printer and not have to go to like fedex or something to bizarrely print it out so we're going to try to stay to the letter size so i'm just right now trying to reorganize things a little bit so that it can have more space for two illustrations side by side and then we can do spot the difference which um i always loved those growing up so um i don't know the the connect the dots is always such a goofy one because it's like very non-modular and these other ones can be more modular in sense and yeah, okay, this is this this is working a little bit better cuz then we can even go over here you know. And there's there's you know, you don't have to necessarily even be modular in the, in this sense. Um you can really do it however you want to. So, let's hop over here. We'll go and we'll extend this and we'll make it a little bit more horizontal so that it isn't 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. This is not in a text box. I notoriously don't use text boxes um which is probably for the worse but i am a big just click and start typing guy and um that makes it so that when i go in and i actually am resizing things i can't move around the text box <laughs> to make my life easier so um you you live with the decisions that you make right <laughs> um so I'm feeling pretty good that we have this space over here, though. This uh, is a little smushed, but um, kids don't care. So let's start off just by giving us some boundaries of um, illustration that we can have here. So I'm just going to make two boxes um, just to make it friendly. You know, we're going to go in and we're going to use the um, the corner tool. Did you guys know that if you go in here and you what is it? What is it? Control and Alt. Or maybe it's just control. I was going to give you guys a tip. And then, like, as I went in to give you the tip, I forgot how to do it myself. 
because I am basic and I tend to only use the curved one. What is it? I don't know. Ignore me. Um, you can switch up the, the, the type of your cuts, though, for the corners um, manually without having to click into it. But you can go in um, to here and you can actually change the corner tips to like maybe if you want to have it like that or you wanted to um, have it like this guy too, and cut it off instead. Uh, and you can do that to all of them or just one of them. Um, Kendall says, what's the tip? It was the one where you can switch through the types of corner cuts with like alt or shift or control, but I always forget it. And I'm always like, I am going to use that all the time. Yeah, you can also do that. You can click into it and you have it like that. But there's a way that you can go in and you switch it. You said you think you hold alt. That's what I thought too. Oh, it is alt. Okay, yeah. So if you hold alt and you just click on it and you're like tapping it, you can switch the color, the, the sides of it. Thanks, Kendall. Um, all right. So we have about 20 minutes left <laughs> and I still have not started the illustration. So let's start with a little alien dude. Um, we're going to use, you'll see that in my um, methodology. I use a lot of the Pathfinder tool, um, which is also normally associated with your um, properties panel now as well, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to create a little almond shape, or maybe not even almond. Um, all right, shift and the, what do we call it? The, um, <laughs> tilde key, that's what we're calling. Um, and that's the way that I'm going to make this kind of switch out. I'm doing this for the eyes. We're going to switch it like that. We're going to zoom, I'll zoom in so this is actually kind of bigger for you guys. Um, uh, Paloma says, thank you. Thank you for the, for the wonderful tip, Kendall. This is actually secretly, uh, I'm just the, the foreman. Um, Kendall's actually hosting today. So we're, we'll do a little reflect, by the way. If I did that too fast, uh, all I did was go to transform, reflect, and then in here, I went in vertical. You can do horizontal too as well. And I hit copy rather than OK. And then that way, it gives me two, um, two things here. All right. So I want to make them a little bit more angled. Um, let's go ahead and give him a little hat. Little, um, like a little gardener's hat, right? So I'm gonna click both. I, I pressed A and I selected both of these. I press S. It'll give me the center for it, and then I'll scale it down like this. Um, and then we'll bring this up. And then I'm gonna use my handy dandy switch up tool because that's what we like to address with. All right, we're gonna do one of these guys. It also kind of looks, it's funny because it almost kind of, it, it looks like a, uh, what you might call it, like a UFO at the same time. So we're going to go in, you can either use shape build, builder with uh, shift M if you wanted to, um, and you can bring it all together so that it's just one big shape. Uh, and we're going to be recoloring this, so let's just give it a random color. Um, well, I want it to be like a hat, so... What if we do this? Maybe we should make it a little smaller. No, or really big. Because that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to protect you from the sun, right? Flying saucer hat, baby. Um, okay. I got to speed up. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and we are going to create a body. And maybe they're planting something. And we can switch up the plant. Um, so let's real quick do something like this. We're going to use the stroke as a means to create a neck. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to use the tilde key again to do a little thing. Then I'm going to go to object path, uh, outline stroke. And you'll see that I didn't turn off the idea that it had both a, um, stroke and a fill. So it's going to give me that weird thing to get into this mode. You just press control Y and within control Y it will let you, um, see all your layers as they are. We're going to make him a little green alien. You guys ever worry about like maybe one day we will have um, contact with aliens and they're going to reach out and they're going to be really offended by the way that we make them all little green men. I want to be like, no guys, I'm cool. I'm cool with whatever, guys. I'm cool with whatever you got, dude. 
Um, also, a fun thing you can do is you can click on your stroke here, and then I can hold shift and, and tap it, and it will just pull the properties of that one that we have here. Um, I want to make sure that I have everything as the same stroke here, so everything's going to be two point. Um, and I'm realizing maybe this should have like some lines in it or something. So what we can do is we can click here and we can move to the side a little bit. And then I'm going to press control D, 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 Uh, there's another way you could do that. You could also do it with a repeat tool. Um, uh, and I'm sure Jack would use it that way, but, um, I, oops, I'm going rogue. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transform. We're gonna rotate this maybe 90 degrees. But rather than doing that, we're gonna make sure we press copy rather than um, then okay. That way we get two sets, and then we get this little cross situation. Um, Chrissy Crossy, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete these guys. Where did the little green guys even originate? What is the lore? You know, I think maybe when they dropped us off the first time, we just kind of remembered, you know? <laughs> I'm going to get a message from Adobe after this. Hi, uh, loved the show. Loved what you guys did. But um, if you could not do conspiracy theories while you're um, on the air, that would be great. <laughs> I'm just having fun, guys. I'm just having fun. Thank you for being here and entertaining me as I entertain you. Um, so I'm grouping this all together, pressing Control X, and then I'm going to actually go into isolation mode here. Um, and then I'm going to paste it. Oh, wait, now I have to make a clipping mask first. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on my sun hat. And I'm going to bring it to the front by bringing Control Shift and right bracket. And then we're going to connect the two. And then I'm going to say click clicking uh, clipping mask. Then we're going to go back into here um, by going into isolation mode. And I get isolation mode just by clicking in there. Uh, we're going to give it a little thing here. And then we're going to make sure that we still have that two-point stroke. Um, and this looks a little silly. So let's do like a... Uh, uh, I thought I grouped it. It's okay. I can still select it all like that. Press Control G. And then I'm going to change it just so that it has some sort of thing like this. Cool, 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 cool. All right. That looks a little bit more like a gardener's hat. Um, and, uh, it, this is a replay? No, this is live. Nguyen, great to have you here. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Sorry if I've missed it in my, my weird banter. Um, this can be a replay for someone later in life, but for you right now, this is, this is all we got. Um, okay. So. Uh, and also, thank you, Cody Bear, for being our moderator today. You are the best. All right. So we're going to quickly do this. We're going to give a little body here. Um, something like this. They can have whichever kind of anatomy we want because they are an alien. But I'm going to give them pretty much vague human anatomy because that makes life easier, right? Um and we're going to do the same thing again by creating um, strokes and using the strokes as a means to easily create a body. So you'll see I went in there and I changed the from a butt cap to a round cap. And yes, it is called a butt cap. Um, then I'm going to go to outline stroke again. And we're just going to copy these two. Um, I'm going to highlight both of them. And then I'm going to eyedropper this guy. Um, what kind of shirt should he have? Maybe it's like a, just like a blue or something. Um, although it looks like he's not wearing any pants, does it? Also, I want to highlight these because they don't feel authentic. The bended, and they feel too long. We're gonna adjust them slightly. Maybe move them up. And it's gonna be whatever you want, really. That's the thing. Um, that is going to confuse people when this is a replay. Yes, it is. It really is. Maybe, that, that, maybe that's what's happening right now. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go in. Um, I'm going to bring these together using the S tool uh, for scale. And we're going to make this into like a little brown. He's like planting something or she or they. Um, 
and then we're gonna put like a weird little flower here right so we'll use a little stem situation here we could also actually go in and we could use the uh, brush tool if we wanted to I do have my handy dandy um, thing my handy dandy stylus but you don't have to have a stylus to use this. you can also use this guy and then um, just make him a little bit curvy worthy bring that in the back uh, maybe we'll make this a green situation here we're gonna actually go ahead and we can steal the eyes and use them maybe as uh, fun petals and one cool thing that we can do here is we can press the R key and then you'll see that it says oh we're gonna put it out of here and you say no 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 I want it over here so you hold down alt and you click in the center here and then we're gonna say um, uh, 360 degrees divided by we want it to happen what like five times so we'll do that and we press copy then it'll do the math for us then press control d d d um d d d d d and then we have a cute little flower here now what we can do is we can also go in and i kind of like that there's like a kind of star in here so let's make a actual star using the star tool if you go like this uh we went over it earlier but you can bring it up and down i kind of like the cute idea of it being just like that I'm gonna when I hold everything, I'm gonna change it um, to have some rounded corners, which is fun. And then we're gonna scale it down using the S tool, and then we bring it over, scale it down some more. Maybe it has a yellow center. Rotate tool is one of Kendall's favorites. Me too. Also, thank you, Miss Melanie, for saying this is a really cool alien. Um, would love to give it more time. We're just gonna try to get to that recolor uh, tool before we run out of time on this very fast. Um, but informative and fun creative challenge. I'm going to rotate this. Like this guy. Maybe we use these for some petals. Scale them down. That's a cool thing. Like with the illustration, you can reuse things a lot. Um, as long as you use them creatively, like it, it, it adds an extra fun element to the piece. Okay. And then obviously with character design and everything, you guys could do a lot more love than with what we're doing here but i'm just hopefully showing you guys kind of the wonderful ability to use the tools in some non um expected ways like like i like you'll see i use the stroke tool a lot to create limbs and sort of things then i come and i always just outline them and then you know i'll come back and i'll use the path tool uh, the, the shape tool and we'll like switch it up or something, you know, um, in the same way that I'm about to do that here and we'll go like that. Um, and we'll put this under here, press control shift left bracket, puts it all the way in the back like that. I'm realizing we didn't put any strokes on these guys. So I would like to fix that by, um, adding a little stroke here. Oh, but that we see, see what happens. One of them was a stroke because we used the brush tool when we, we're doing that. So I need to go through object path outline stroke. We'll actually go and take that moment to actually blend that all together. Um, and then now if we highlight all of it, I can add a stroke to it, which will be added like that. We'll go to the black, pop it up. Boom, bam, beep, bop, boop. Bring this to the front. And so now we have our illustration. It's simple. It's easy. I really don't like the legs. Maybe we'll make it weird. Maybe rather than that, like it's, uh, maybe he has like the tiniest little legs in the whole wide world, but he's an alien. So you can't, you can't tell me it's inaccurate, you know? <laughs> that's why I like aliens so much, I guess. I'm just like, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you think that uh, that's anatomically incorrect? Mm -mm -mm. It's an alien, okay? <laughs> Uh, and I promise we will get to the recolor tool in just a second. So if you're here waiting for that, we're getting there. We're getting there. Curve those babies. Curve those babies. All right. And then we'll do transform, reflect, copy. Like this. And we will merge them together with the pathfinder tool. Or we'll do the shape tool if we want. Um, shape builder tool. I don't know why this is m merging these two, but the beauty of the shape builder tool is everything is connected. Cool. 
Uh, all right, and we'll put that in the back. So, we have the most ridiculous alien. And we are going to make some changes between the two. So what we're gonna do is um, we're going to highlight everything, alt and click. So now we have two. Maybe we do a real quick spot the difference here. Um, and obviously, if you were doing this fully, you would maybe want to make them a little bit more um, subtle. <laughs> this might be for like a two-year-old um, with how simple we're about to make the difference between the two. Um, excuse my poor, oh my goodness, my shaky hands. I'm not able to click on the line. Okay, this one, please. Thank you. Um, I drank too much coffee story of my life so maybe this is like a little tulip rather than a star flower that we have <laughs> this is an ugly tulip okay we're gonna pull this down a little bit more <laughs> wow that was like a little witch cackle sorry um here we go here we go bring it up like this and then maybe rather than this hat, it's like a baseball cap, which we can make very quickly by going in here. And you guys see, I, I really do love that, that bending corners trick. It is so convenient. I use it every stop of the way. Matching hat. <laughs> one more change that we can do. One more change that we can do that will make it so it has enough things for a child to switch. Is we're going to make this alien sad. <laughs> I guess he doesn't like tulips. Okay. Um, and so you would say, okay, that's enough. That's enough. But you're like, let's throw them off their tracks just a little bit. What can we do? Um, to make them actually feel a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and we'll give this a background color. Uh, hopefully not too hard on your printer. Um, and we'll make this yellow. And just for the sake of showing the difference between the two, we can do the same thing here. Um, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to group this together. Control G. And then if you look up here at the top, there's this cute little color wheel and it goes recolor uh, artwork. And if you click into there, it'll pull up and it'll show you these different like triad, um, different ways you can switch up um, how many colors it is. If you wanna pull something from uh, something that already exists. So like color books, um, you can maybe switch it up and it'll kind of switch it out so that it fits within those things. But the real fun part is now that there's regenerative color and you can either describe a color, pa color palette, mood or theme you want to generate. Uh, unfortunately, it's in English only right now uh, and it is in beta, so be forgiving of it. But they also have a few that they have um, for you already. So if you click somewhere by the sea, it will give you these options and then you can kind of click through and you can see them. And if you don't like them or if you want to switch them up, um, you know, you can say good result, bad result, uh, just to help train the system. But like, let's go in and we can say um, gardening children. Like, who knows what that means? But it'll probably give us some greens. Um, like, that's pretty good. This is pretty good. And that's pretty good. Um, and then obviously, we'd want to give like a call to action up here. Uh, through anything this is like says word bank but we could say something like spot the difference says go like that so wow guys we managed to do it um we made these uh very quick things but thank you guys so much for being with me as we uh played around and made a fun coloring kit for kids to, uh, this week i always have the best time when i get to do these um Adobe Live daily creative challenges, and I really appreciate you guys coming in and um, uh, being here for support. Thank you again to Cody Bear for um, all the support on uh, modding, and thank you guys for everything you do. I'd love to see your stuff in the Illustrator Discord if you're around there. 
uh, and make sure that you stick around because you got Evan Abrams coming up next. All right, guys. Um, thank you again. I'm engaged. <laughs> Goodbye.